Good morning, Lionhearts. Your old pal Jordan the Lion. How are you today? Great. I'm glad to hear it. Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog on Charles Lawton. I've wanted to do that one for quite a while, and today we're going to do a fun one that I've wanted to do for a very long time as well. I've been a fan of this since I was in high school when I first got a guitar and I first started learning how to play guitar. This was one of the first songs, That Thing You Do, that I learned how to play on guitar. So today, I want to go do some of the filming locations in Orange County of the Tom Hanks classic, That Thing You Do. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Hey, Joster. Since we're going to be vlogging That Thing You Do today and it's in Orange County, we're going to go hang out with Breck. Do you want to go see Breck? Let's do it. And tomorrow evening, I am actually taking off to France. So, Jaw is going to be staying down there with Breck. This is all of his uh, necessities. So, yeah. Sorry to break it to you this way, Jaw, but uh, I'm taking off for a few. Tons and tons of LA traffic, but at least we're getting out of here. I'm guessing it'll probably be kind of uh, congested in Orange County as well, but not where we're going to be vlogging. That, that should feel pretty old time. Yeah. We just got to Breck's house. I see Flash over here. Oh, there's Breck. Hey. Well, we got a package over here. We are doing a limited edition of uh, going to Paris. We're doing a limited edition shirt, so I'll be announcing that. It's only going to be available while I'm uh, on that trip, so they wanted to send me out one in advance. Check this out. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of it. Look at that John, the hot air balloon right up there. He won't be on the trip, but he'll be there in spirit. Yeah, I love it. And they sent one for Breck as well, so now Breck has one to wear. Then they also sent a couple of hats. Jordan the Lion in Paris. Yeah, I think they're looking forward to hanging out together again. Well, take a look at this house. Has nothing to do with the movie That Thing You Do, but just shows you we're in Orange County and this kind of sets the scene for going back into the 60s. Well, here we are, our opening shot for That Thing You Do. This is when the title credits are rolling out here. This was a 1996 blockbuster hit that started as just a uh, kind of a dream of Tom Hanks. This is an era of music that he grew up in and he wanted to write something that he could put all of his personalities into so when he wrote it all the characters in the movie were actually based off of different kind of personality quirks that he had and um, so that's how he cast people was he met them individually he met the band members individually whether or not they could play the instruments he just wanted to see if they kind of hit the sense of humor that he was trying to get out of that character and then once they did then he insisted if you sign on to the project you you practice every day for a month and we become a full band and that's what they did so tom hanks got this movie he he said he basically just wrote like a rough draft gave it to some people to read and they go okay let's make it you know and he said it was that easy and he basically got to do everything the way he wanted it all the way down to like i said he he got to cast everybody that he wanted including himself now right here in front of us, this was Patterson's Appliance Store. This is where Guy Patterson and his family owned the store and Guy worked. This is also where he joins the Wonders. Now it's a, um, a toy store called Tiddlywinks, but you can definitely tell this is the same place and that the, uh, the Patterson's neon sign would have been up here and going across and that was what his dad kept complaining about him leaving the lights on. Yeah, this all used to be, I think, blue. The sign all lit it up blue. But, um, yeah, this is where, and then right there in that window, we'll go take a closer look in that window. That's where the, uh, the pop-up sign was. Now, right here in front of us where that white car is, that's, uh, that's where Guy parks when he shows up to work at the appliance store. And that's also where Phil parks his big, um, Winnebago when he comes to try and sign the band and he ends up meeting with all of them serving him the stew in the back of his 
truck, and that's also where uh, Guy Patterson's dad comes out and asks him if he can move the move the Winnebago. That's where they have their lives changed. That's where they make the deal that if they're not on the radio within a week or 10 days max that they can end the management contract with him. Here's where we'd see Phil and Skitch having their conversation when Phil's saying, I don't want to waste another second of your time. I want to manage your band. I think you guys have a hit song. I do want to say that last night I watched the extended cut of this movie for the first time ever. And there are a lot of scenes that they cut out in the theatrical release. So it kind of helps explain a lot of things that you don't know about in the movie, like why he says, I am Spartacus and things like that. So right here is where the post office box was that Faye was putting the stamp on the letter. They've been waiting all week to hear the song on the radio and they're basically starting to give up. And right here, Faye has got a uh, handful of letters that she's getting ready to mail out. And you can tell this is it because you can see the theater right here. And uh, this was the Woolworths, that building right there. So she would have basically been right here and once, and what you don't know if you haven't seen the extended cut is that guy gives all of them radios. And so they're walking, they're all walking around with radios. And so she's got um, an ear plug in and she hears the song and then goes running towards us this way. Very fitting of the movie. Now when Tom Hanks was casting this, the biggest uh, question he had for casting was, who was going to play the drummer, who was going to play Skitch. And the person that he wanted was Tom Scott, who they hired. But he almost didn't choose him because he said he thought he looked too much like Tom Hanks. And then finally Tom Hanks' wife said, eh, even if he does, he's a good actor. So now you can tell we're getting close because you can see these in the movie. This isn't the, uh, the appliance store, but right here, this was and they've extended the um the brickwork but you can actually see that brickwork in the movie and that's the key that uh the lock that guy would have been locking so he could go down and play the drums at night so this is patterson's so right here at this store when we see guy coming to work we see his dad putting that um that cardboard cut out right there in the window and he's yelling at guy to come in this is also where Guy works. This is where uh, where all the band members, when the song starts playing, they all go running in that door and they all start jumping around inside the store. And when the uh, the song originally starts playing, they um, we see the guitar player and the I think it's who us the, both guitar players pull up in the car right up here and they jump out and run into the store. Same address, one twenty nine, just uh, different logo and everything different paint so this was Patterson's so there's the doorway they all come running into and that's also like I said that's the keyhole that uh that Skitch would lock up at night when he goes to play the drums downstairs and then we see a lot of shots where um we see like Skitch standing here in front of this uh this window messing around because there's nobody in the store but you can see all those buildings across the street yeah it's all completely different the ceiling was white with like uh fluorescent lights and everything yeah it's the whole place is different but this was patterson's pretty cool pretty cool to see so right there is where that neon Patterson sign would have been that we would see and, and then we'd see the name going across here. Also if you watch the extended cut, you'll understand why um, Skitch and Faye end up getting together. They have a lot of like inside jokes throughout the whole movie, kind of like brother and sister playful stuff so I kind of explained it later on. And they said when um, they cast Liv Tyler for Faye, she walked in as soon as Tom Hanks saw her he said, that's Faye. Hire her. She's Faye. Here's Orange Plaza. And there's the street from the movie. Now we have a couple of more locations to go see. Yeah, I swear we didn't plan that. Now if you look across the street, you'll notice there is a Army Navy store. That's the Army Navy store that TB player... <laughs> 
also known as the bass player. That's where he's trying on his jacket and he lets everybody know once they're on tour that he had uh, he had enlisted. So we see him in there trying in the trying on the jacket and he hears the as he's coming out of those doors um, Liv Tyler comes running past him and yells to like turn on a different station and then she like pushes him into the doors. So we'll go close and take a look at where those were. Well, here's the Army Navy store and those are the doors that he gets pushed into when he's walking out of them. And then they go running down this sidewalk. So now we're gonna go over to the soda fountain, the uh, Watson's Rexall that was in the movie. That's where they all met up to have their breakfast before Guy was even in the band. And this is where they go through all the name changes and name ideas before they settle on the O'Neaters. I mean, the Wonders. How appropriate, an antique store right here. So right here is the Watson soda fountain. And right there where that black car is, that's where Guy keeps parking his car and keeps banging into the bumper of Faye's car. But this is where everybody meets up for lunch and, well, breakfast. And uh, Guy sits at the counter and this is when they're, uh, like I said, they're, they're testing out Corvettes and the Herdsmen. The Wonders with an O-N-E. And this is where... Uh, this is where they end up deciding on that name. Well, it's no longer Watson's Rex Hall. It's now Watson's Soda Fountain Cafe. And it's changed a little bit. So Breck and I decided we're gonna go try out Watson's now. See what it looks like on the inside. Wow, it looks way different on the inside now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it looks way different. But Breck, you're sitting in the exact location as to where the Wonders came up with their name. How do you feel about that? It's uh, wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 kind of like seeing Kiss live, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it is a great movie, though. You're a is. fan of the movie, I love, right? I love the movie. It's a great movie. Great song and everything. Yeah. yeah. Pretty interesting burger menu. I did notice right away there's an I Love Lucy burger. Yeah, I was looking at that too. I have to get that one. Well, the fountain looks different, but that's the where the fountain was where Guy was sitting in the movie when he buys them all uh, breakfast. We started off with a pickle chips appetizer, and they're pretty freaking great. Yep, I went ahead and went with the uh, I Love Lucy. Looks amazing. Probably a heart attack on a platter, but it looks great. Well, it's pretty cool for me to get to see this. I love this movie, and this is the first time I've ever visited this uh, this filming location. Patterson's. What a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. That thing you do. Well, that's going to do it for our filming locations of That Thing You Do. Great movie and perfectly cast. Tom Hanks said that if he, uh, if he himself were casting himself as one of the band members, he would have wanted to be Lenny, the guitar player, because he thought that Lenny was the funniest one, hence the one that Tom would write the most lines for and pretty much nitpick every bit of the filming process. Everything that Lenny did, he they would make sure that every single thing was funny in a way. So he said his two favorite characters or the the two characters in the movie that were most like him were um skitch the drummer and lenny of course so there it is goodbye patterson's though it wasn't in the movie this place certainly could have been mr c's records i mean it's as old school as it gets Look at what's in the window. Soupy sails. And that might even be one of the RCA dogs from the movie. What do you think? That might be from inside Patterson Appliances. Look at this sign up here in the window. It says Chuck Berry, father of rock and roll, stayed here April 19th, 1981. Wonder where it was they took that from. 
like a motel door or something like that. Well, Breck, how was it? We ventured back into Erie, PA in the 1960s, at least for one day. How did, did you feel like you were in the movie? I mean, it, it, it still kind of feels old around here, doesn't it? The, the whole place kind of has this kind of 1960s uh, feel to it. So it was a good location for this kind of a movie. Yeah, I mean, the only thing really missing in this town was all the Erie, PA signs that were all over, but... Right, right. You know, it, it, it structurally looks pretty similar. It does, it does. And this is the same neck of the woods where we went to the Huell Hauser Museum that time, Chapman University area. That's actually the entrance to Chapman University. Taking Jaw out for a little late night walk. Take a look at that moon. Well, buddy. About time I say goodbye to you. I'll miss you, big man. I'll be back before you know it. It won't be that long. Then when I get back, you and I will go somewhere together, okay? Well, I am definitely going to miss Jaw. There's no question about that. Well, good evening, Lionhearts. I'm going to call it a night. I am exhausted. I, uh, I've packed all my bags for tomorrow. And don't worry, tomorrow will not just be a travel day vlog. In fact, I'm going to try and spare you quite a bit of that. I actually have a real vlog planned for tomorrow. You won't want to miss it. I was going to do one thing, and then I said, well, you know what? I think the vlog would be way cooler if I went and did this and then did that, so yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. I think uh, when you see what I've tied together, you'll love it. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.